Hello and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can download and install Ubuntu 22.04. Yes, Ubuntu LTS has current release. It's Ubuntu 22.04, and the code name is Jemmy Jellyfish. It has release in April 2022. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. To have the Ubuntu ISO file, we need to visit ubuntu.com. ISO is sort of zip file, so we can have that zip file and we can create the bootable flash drive through that ISO file. So we just need to visit ubuntu.com. Uh, and you have to accept all cookies or you can manage some so let me accept all of them and download in download we have ubuntu desktop so we can have this it's 22.04 lts system and let us click here and we can freely download this because ubuntu is one of open source uh, operating system one of open source famous operating system yes so here we have ubuntu 22.04 desktop lt uh, iso file and this one is lts and uh, it's 3.4 gb and it will take around two hours it depends on the speed of your internet it will take uh, one hour sometime it will take two hours sometime uh as your internet is so we can wait for this ah yes i have already downloaded this so let me cancel this and uh, in download folder let me show you it's uh, ubuntu 22.04 desktop and it's 64 bit system by default now we have 64 bit system so we can create a uh, the portable flash drive through this ISO file or we can use this uh, ISO in a virtual machine through the virtual box or the VMware uh, Pro Station or VM Player. So we can create the cross platform. We can install Ubuntu within Windows. Here I am on Windows 10. So we can have the Ubuntu on Windows 10 through the uh, virtual box or the VMware this one is the virtual box Oracle virtual box and this one is actually free and to have the VMware we need to have the license VMware workstation pro and uh, and yes the free one is VMware player and if you want to know how you can install and download VMware Player, VMware Workstation, and Oracle Virtual Box. So there's a video available in the description of this video. You can have that video, and you can uh, download these software. So let us create one virtual machine through that uh, uh, Ubuntu ISO. So we have, uh, we need to click New. And in new, we need to provide the name. For example, if we provide the name Ubuntu, let us provide the name Ubuntu. It, it will automatically select the Linux type and the Ubuntu 64-bit system. Or you can have any name like uh, Raflims. And there you need to provide the memory size. For example, it's 1 GB by default. So let me allocate uh, 3 GB for this. My system has 8 GB. And do not add a virtual hard disk. Create a virtual hard disk. Use an existing virtual machine. So we will create a virtual hard disk in this folder, this one. 
so to create now and there you need to provide the hard disk the size of hard disk 40 gb is enough for this and we have multiple option vdi vh vhd or uh, vm dk by default we select vdi virtual box disk image so create now and after create this we need to provide the bootable image that we have downloaded i mean the iso file so where we need to provide here you can see it's empty now in storage so we can select this one see it's 22.04 or if this option not available on your system so you can actually choose so let us select this one now this will boot from this uh, device now let us start and oracle vm virtual box is quite good actually so i have 6.1 version and there you can see it's try to install try or install so okay okay so we can use select this option this one okay now it has started so here we have the ubuntu jemmy jellyfish and let us wait for the option and actually full screen this so here we have the option install ubuntu or try ubuntu so let us select english and the install ubuntu english english and continue normal installation and download update while installing and continue okay so it will ask you to erase the disk yes of course or you need to create some partition so you can create some partition so let me erase now the disk that actually we have allocated like 40 gb so it's talking about the 40 gb so you can continue this actually i'm not going to create any partition within 40 gb so that's why i actually erasing all the disk and install ubuntu and now you have to select where you are i am in karachi right now so let's continue karachi in pakistan and the name your name uh by the way, my name is Farooq Hussain, but this is Raflim. Okay, choose a password. 
can select any buttress or sphere and continue so it will start copy file so you can rest here you can wait uh, till it may complete so it might take half an hour or depends on the speed of your computer it might take one hour two hours not two hours but it will install within one hour uh, the maximum time actually so let us wait for one hour and uh, let me pause my video here yeah? i'll come back when it may complete okay it's almost going to end and uh, let us wait now okay done so now it has started i mean it has installed it has completed so we need to restart this and it might take few time to restart and what we can do we can full screen this and else what we can do we can extend the view to one twenty five percent and enter. Okay. Remember, we are using BM uh, virtual box so. We are in a virtual machine. And this Ubuntu has installed on Windows through virtual uh, box. Yes, Oracle virtual box. Actually, I forgot the name that. So it's Oracle virtual box. So, 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 let us wait for this. Here we are. So, let us log in for the very first time. Again, it's taking time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, finally. So we have this screen, we can extend the size like uh, Okay, so there we need to okay, Let us skip online account if you want to Work with any online account you can have that next And done now what we can do we can actually display setting and resolution so 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 my screen size is actually this one so here's my screen size let me select this and 
keep change okay so here we are at ubuntu 22.04 so there we have some updates till the date it has the release so we will install them later and now we have this home folder and we have successfully installed ubuntu 22.04 uh yes one more thing i want to install the koha here but the koha release today is 11th may and the koha release will come on um, 26 may yes koha 22.05 will finally come on 26 may so we will install that on 26 may or later on but today we have installed this let me show you where i have seen that information i have just started the firefox okay the firefox is a little angry now <laughs> we can have any other web browser or uh, yes it's started now they are already running why is starting again and again okay <laughs> so let us view this okay so firefox here okay fire start here and now we don't need fire okay so we just want to check koha community site i want to install koha here today but uh, i just come to know that it's at the new release will come out on uh on 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 uh 26 may yes and today is 11th may and it's 4 a.m now <laughs> i have to sleep okay so here we have koha 21.11 and the coming up is actually koha in news yes okay yes here we have this news yes this one it's koha 22.05 release date and the final release date will be 26 may so that's uh, why i actually stopped here so i will install koha 22.05 as it may release so waiting for that thank you very much for watching uh Raflims, today we have installed ubuntu 22.04 that has released in april and today is uh, may 11 so we have installed it's uh, 4 a.m right now in pakistan and let me close this it's 22.04 and we have installed on vm virtual box so this way you can use windows and you can install ubuntu on 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 on, on windows here we have this one okay thank you very much for watching this is faro hussain you are watching raf lambs take care and good night